Okay. So now let us look at word piece tokenizer. So again the same uh, we start with BP right and in BP we observe that a pair of tokens is merged. Uh, if that uh, sorry this is not very correctly written. We merge a pair of tokens, we merge a pair of tokens which has the highest frequency, right. So in this case i n had the highest frequency, so we merged i n n and added that to our token list, right. So that is what we had done here. Uh, but now what do you do in the case of a tie? Right. In the case of BP, when there was a tie, we just said that we will take the first guy and just add it to the uh, uh, token list, right. but then that has a replication on what happens next. Because if I n got merged, if suppose NG had got merged, then that would have a different path going forward as opposed to if you merged I n. Right. So that is important to see how to break that tie. So what we do uh, in the case of uh, word piece is that you compute a score for every candidate that needs to be merged, right. So now the score would be in this case would be 7 which is the count of i n, right, divided by the count of i whatever it was and count of n whatever it was, right. So based on this you will get a score and again we will see run through an example to understand what it is and then you will take the one which has the highest uh, score. Right. Okay. So now, when would this score be high? When the denominator is less. That means the individual tokens that you are trying to merge did not appear frequently. Right. That means these two tokens typically appear when they are merged together. That's what it indicates. Right. Because there is a numerator and the score would be low if this numerator divided by the two I mean divided by the denominator is uh, high right. Now what does that mean that this denominator has to be low that means the individual counts have to be low right. So that means that if these tokens are independently appearing a fewer times right and most of the times when they are appearing it is because of this merged token which appears right then the score would be high and then it makes more case for merging this as opposed to the other candidates that you might have right. So as opposed to just looking at the numerator now you are also looking at relatively what happens right does this is this numerator uh, that token actually causing the two denominators to appear or the two sub tokens to appear or is it that the two sub tokens appear many times right hence they could be merged differently right that is all that is the improvement of. Uh, or that is the difference of word piece from BP. So, we will just again look at the example. So, you had this initial vocabulary size of 22 uh, and uh, yeah, in the, we identify sub words as hash hash, but now for illustration only we are using hash. So, knowing gets split into this, okay. okay. Now, you are again looking at all the pairs. So, K, N, N, O, O, W, all these pairs you are looking at. If you look at uh, BP, then you are only looking at the frequency column, right. Now in word piece, you are looking at the frequency of the first element which was 3, frequency of the second element n which was 13 and now the score for the byte pair kn is going to be frequency of kn which is 3 divided by 3 into 13, right. So that comes to some number and now you will take that token or that byte pair which has the highest score and add it to your vocabulary. So that is all. So in this case AD turns out to be the highest uh, paired token, right. So now that is interesting, right. So what that means is that A and D appear together uh, uh, more times, right. So that is what is causing A and D to appear together, right. So that means A and D should be merged together. So AD was not even in the competition, right. So you can see that its uh, frequency was just 1 and there were many other tokens, uh, byte pairs which had higher frequency. But it just happens that AD, uh, whenever it appeared, A and D, they only appeared in that context. I think that is not actually correct. Uh, I think, uh, ah, sorry. So A was occur occurring, uh, yeah, so that is what is happening here, right. So A appeared only three times, D appeared only two times, right, and AD appeared one time out of that. So that clearly seems like AD is appearing quite, uh, I mean AD is a very prominent uh, merge, right. As opposed to if I look at I, I is appearing many times, N is appearing uh, many times 
and I n is appearing 7 times, right. So, that just simply that ratio tells me that this is better than the other one, right. And so, that is what is happening here. Uh, this is the score now, this is the new score and you will use it based on this score, right. Again, take the first one, yeah. But here ties would be more dif difficult, right, because you have yeah, scores, yeah. Okay. So, you have this small vocabulary, that is what I was saying that you had this vo character based vocabulary 1 to 112. You start with that, you do n merges, so then you get a vocabulary of size n roughly, n plus the initial vocabulary and that is in the range of 30k to 50k is what we used in most single language, uh, uh, large language models, right. Uh, in multilingual LLMs, of course, it would be different because you will have tokens for all the languages. If you keep doing more merges, you will get larger and larger vocabulary, right. So, if you want 100k vocabulary size, if you can afford that, then you will say that I want to do 100k merge operations, right. Uh, now, you could also do the reverse, you could start with the large vocabulary. So, as I said, in this algorithm, we started from characters and we kept adding till we were satisfied, okay, 32k is my limit, I am going to stop at 30k. But you could also start from here and then keep dropping, right, that is also possible. So, that is the other route that you could take, you could eliminate some words and then just say that this is the number of words that I want to retain, right. So, we will see something uh, similar. Uh, in the sentence piece tokenizer, right. So, we will now look at the sentence piece tokenizer. 